Hey, hey friends, Rob here doing a response or a review. Eminem becomes born again Christian. And if you don't think that's possible, this is what I used to look like when I was some of your ages out there. That wasn't me. That wasn't that. That was me, friends, when I was about 18, 19. And, you know, I used to play guitar in a lot of metal bands in the 80s and rock bands. And you know, I'm 15, 16 years old, hanging out at Madison Square Garden in New York backstage. And, God, God visited me a big time, friends. Heaven invaded earth. No one talked me into being a Christian, and no one can talk me out of it. I didn't get Christ in a church. I got Christ through visitation. I know Jesus is real. He's the real deal, my friends. Now, the difference between Christianity and religion is simply as this. Religion is man trying to earn salvation through good works. Christianity is trusting in what Christ already accomplished on the cross. He shed his blood for your sins. You can't earn salvation. You can't be good enough. Salvation's a gift. The gift is only a gift unless it's free. If someone gives you a gift and says, hey, you got to get me $5 a week for five years, that's not a gift. And the term born again comes from the book of John in the Bible. John chapter 3, verse 3, a man came to Jesus by night. Maybe he didn't want no one to see him in the daytime. And his name was Nicodemus. And, you know, Nick said to Jesus, hey, how do I get to heaven? Jesus says, unless a man is born again, he cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Nick said, well, what am I supposed to do? You know, climb into my mother's womb again. and be Jesus says, not be born of the flesh be born of the Spirit. So it's confessing Christ that's having a relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father except for me. So are you trusting in your own salvation through works or a religion, a priest, a pastor, your parents? Or are you trusting in your salvation in and what Christ already did for you on the cross it's easy to be a Christian. It's a little harder to stay a Christian, and it's only through the grace, mercy, compassion, and most of all, the love of God. The Bible says God so loved the world, John 3, 16. He gave as a gift his only son that if you would confess Christ, you would not perish, you'd have everlasting life. Jesus comes by invitation only. He'll never blow or knock the door down to your heart. God gave us a free will. We can accept him due to obedience. We can reject him due to disobedience. Desire to recite a simple prayer after me. Come on, go for it. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. Friends, I'm a minister of the gospel. God loves you. God wants to have a relationship with you. If you desire to subscribe to my ministry channel via YouTube, go for it. Hit the subscribe button. Also on the Rob Wood one, the search, many of the ministry videos where I expound, talk about Christianity, heaven, hell, angels, demons, etc. Friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name.